Now, lots of major developments today in the battle against COVID-19, including the first confirmed cases of the South Africa variant in the United States. We also received the highly anticipated results of Johnson & Johnson's phase three vaccine trials on their version. Both major topics of discussion at today's briefing at the White House COVID-19 response team. This has important potential and real implications both domestically and globally. That was Dr. Anthony Fauci reacting to the news that Johnson & Johnson's vaccine was 72% effective at preventing moderate to severe COVID symptoms in the United States. While less effective than Moderna and Pfizer's vaccines, it has other advantages. This is a single shot vaccine in which you start to see efficacy anywhere from seven to 10 days following the first and only shot. It is inexpensive and the company is capable of making doses in the in the numbers of billions. It comes as the first two cases of the concerning South Africa variant were detected in South Carolina. To help identify how widespread that and other variants truly are, the U.S. is taking steps to increase the number of samples that are sequenced, but practically speaking... By the time someone has symptoms, gets a test, has a positive result, and we get the sequence, our opportunity for doing real case control and, and, and contact tracing is, is largely gone. And so I think and I believe that we should be treating every case as if it's a variant um, during this pandemic right now.